For a long time, the hybrid drives from Toyota and Lexus were not taken seriously, at least not in Europe. Thirteen years after the first series production hybrid from Toyota, a first mild hybrid version is now available for order in Europe. Mercedes, after an initial prototype, is the first to venture into the realm of a factory-made hybrid. Four years after the launch of the current S-Class, the company from Stuttgart freshens the model range and also brings out the first German car with a drive system of this type, the S400 Hybrid. Driving the car, you won't notice much about its hybrid technology. The engine switches off when you come to a stop, even under 15 kilometers per hour, in fact, thanks to the start-stop system, then starting up again as soon as the driver lets up off the brake. And even if you might feel the big boost when starting, the energy recuperation is hardly noticeable. The Stuttgart engineers have combined their 279 horsepower 3.5 liter gasoline powered V6 with an electric engine that produces an extra 20 horsepower on its own. For the luxury class, it has a laudable fuel economy of only 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers and 186 grams of CO2 emissions per kilometer. Anyone looking for elegance and refined technology coupled with economy will have to be prepared to pay at least 85,000 euros. In the luxury class, it's high-tech for technology buffs, but also for the eco-friendly and economically minded. Inside, Mercedes stresses lighting as a styling element. Besides the familiar first-class accoutrements, there's now ambience lighting with the choice of amber, white or ice blue to illuminate the interior. You can tell the Mercedes S-Class is a 209 model by its slightly modified exterior design. The grille is even pointier and the bumper is now upgraded with a light catching contour and a chrome strip. On all future S-Class models, the exhaust tips are clearly integrated into the bumpers. The S-Class can be ordered not only as the S400 hybrid, but also with a choice of two diesel and six gasoline engines and will be out in showrooms late June. Here it is, the VW Polo number no. 5, and many mocked it at its world premiere as the Mini Golf. That's not only mean and nasty, but also wrong, for as its looks go, the Polo is designed just like the rest of the new VW line, which was introduced with the Scirocco and then successfully taken over by the Golf. What all three models have in common are the headlights that taper inwards, while the tail ends are all different. On the whole, the new Polo is real grown up. The fanciful small car flare of its predecessor is a thing of the past. That's why some who take a look at it find it a bit too cool. Despite its mature exterior, having grown by 5 centimeters to 3 meters 97 in length, it's still a small car. Width-wise, it's also grown by 3 centimeters, in fact, while its height has actually shrunk by 14 millimeters, something which makes it look more dynamic at least. Many small yet refined details like the radiator grille screen with black louvers, the headlights with their distinct styling, as mentioned before, and the side mirrors with their integrated blinkers underline this overall impression. The trunk holds between 280 and 952 liters of cargo. One nifty practical item, a new floor insert makes the loading surface flat so that heavy bottle cases can be slid in and out with ease. The interior decor is anything but what you would expect from a typical small car. High quality and modern styling is what awaits passengers in the Polo. Once again, you have the familiar trim lines to choose from, trend, comfort, and highlight. 
The Polo has also improved in the engine category, especially in terms of its fuel economy. The base model comes with a 1.2-liter unit which generates 60 horsepower and, like all the other engines, meets the Euro 5 requirements. The average consumption is reported to be 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers. And that value is exactly matched by the range-topping gasoline engine in the model series, the 1.2 TSI with 105 horsepower. The Polo is the first model to be fitted with a 1.6-liter diesel engine, and even a 1.2 TDI is planned, both with particle filters. The chassis was redesigned and is now extremely comfortable. ESP is now standard, just like the Hill Climb Assistant. Additional safety is ensured not only by the usual features like ABS and airbags, but also a powerful brake booster. The prices for the new generation Polo start at around 12,150 euros. Following the little 1007 and the 4007 SUV, Peugeot now comes out with a compact crossover, the 3008. Measuring 4 meters 37 in length, it fits in between the even more compact 308 and the long 308 SW and promises extraordinary driving characteristics. The 3008 is a combination of a sedan, a van and an SUV. Its mission is to generate new groups of customers. To do so, the French have provided it with a number of innovations. One is grip control, a traction control feature that treats the person behind the wheel to a great deal of fun off the beaten path, even though the vehicle lacks all-wheel drive. The new head-up display contains the most important information for driving and serves as a projection surface for the safe distance control feature called Distance Alert. When you look at the 3008, you realize this is a true lion-hearted Peugeot. At the front, we find a whole new interpretation of the characteristics typical of the brand. The high belt line and the windows that taper towards the front remind us of an SUV. The brawny rear section with its practical two-piece tailgate reinforce this association. Inside, the 3008 boasts an incredible amount of space. Fold the seats down and you get a flat surface with a loading capacity of up to 1,241 liters. As an extra option, you can order a 1.6 square meter panorama sunroof. The cockpit looks more like that of an airplane than a car. It is full of high quality equipment. Displays and switches are perfectly arranged in easy reach of the driver. Above the instrument cluster, you'll find the head-up display that pops up at the press of a button. The seats boast a high degree of comfort and good lateral support. The 3008 will be offered with a choice of two gasoline engines, one with 120, the other with 156 horsepower. The diesel range includes four versions from 110 to 163 horsepower, of course all with soot filters. The new Peugeot 3008 combines driving pleasure with comfort and ample space for a family or recreational utility. The starting price is 21,500 euros. The car will be at dealerships right away and is just right for Francophile customers and those who want to become ones. <laughs>